Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Alteryx tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're going to look at the Record ID tool. The Record ID tool is very useful for making sure that your data gets put back together properly. Um, we're going to be looking at the example today that Alteryx provides us. I'm also going to click the star here by the Record ID tool and add it to my favorites bar because it's one of my favorite tools. The example that we're going to look at first is uh, just adding a record ID starting at one. It starts as being called record ID. I'm going to call mine customer ID or transaction ID, whatever I want to name it. I don't have to call it record ID. I'm going to hit the run button. I'm going to uh, see that I can change the uh, transaction ID in this case, either from the first column or to the last column, wherever I want it to appear. I can always move this using the select tool as well. The uh, next example that I'm going to show is assigning a record starting at n. So we don't have to start counting at the number 1. We can start at negative 100. We could start at 1000 if we wanted to. We can start counting at whatever point that we want doesn't have to be starting at 1. So in this case, well, we will always count up in increments of 1 when using the record ID tool. We can also change this to a string if we don't want to use an integer. We want to have more of a uh, um, ID type of number. We can tell it the size that we want it to be and then also what starting value we want. So let's say that we were assigning our customers numbers and we didn't want to start at 0001. We could start at 1,000 or 10,000, 100,000, wherever we wanted to start. So the record ID tool, very useful. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.